Today we are going to learn about electronic waste or e-waste. Electronic waste or e-waste describes discarded electrical or electronic devices, used electronics which are destined for refurbishment, reuse, resale, salvage, recycling through material recovery or disposal are also considered e-waste. The cis contains a laundry list of chemicals that are harmful to people and the environment like mercury, lead, beryllium, brominated flame, retardant and cadmium. The stuff that sound as bad as it is. When electronics are mishandled during disposal, these chemicals end up in our soil, water and air. Although e-waste is a general item, it can be considered to denote items such as TV appliances, computers, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, white goods, for example, fridges, washing machines, dryers, home entertainment and stereo system, toys, toasters and kettles. Electronic waste or e-waste refers to all items of electrical and electronic equipment and its part that have been discarded by its owner as waste without the intent of the use. Now we can see the sources of electronic waste, fridges, freezers and other cooling equipment and computers and telecommunication equipment and consumer electronic devices and solar panels, then TV monitors and screens, then uh, LED bulbs, vending machines, these are all the things are sources of electronic waste. Let's see type of electronic waste. We can divide into three types. The first type major appliances, for example, refrigerators, washing machines, dryers, etc. Second type small appliances, example, vacuum cleaners, irons, blenders, fryers, etc. Then third type. This is computer and telecommunication appliances, for example, laptops, PCs, telephones, mobile phones, etc. Now I am going to explain what are the most common e-waste items. The most common hazardous electronic items include LCD desktop monitors, LCD televisions, plasma televisions, TVs and computers with cathode ray tubes and e-waste contains hundreds of substances on which many are toxic. This includes mercury, lead, arsenic, cadmium, selenium, chromium and the flame retardants. Do you know why is e-waste important? The ability to obtain and recycle the materials from e-waste helps limit the need for mining them from the earth. The conserve natural resources worldwide. The United Nations found that precious metal deposit in electronic waste are between 40 to 50 times richer than found in ore mined from the earth. Now we can see how is e-waste harmful. Electronic waste contain toxic components that are dangerous to human health such as mercury, lead, cadmium, polybrominated flame retardant, barium and lithium. The negative health effect of these toxins on humans include brain, heart, liver, kidney and skeletal system damage. Now we can see what are the effects of e-waste on human health. The more emissions that we produce due to how much trash we generated affects as long term. One can develop diseases such as asthma, birth defect, cancer, cardiovascular disease, childhood cancer, COPD, infectious disease, low birth weight and preterm delivery. Can you tell me where does our e-waste go? 
the most electronic waste still end up in landfills or gets incinerated wasting useful resources and releasing toxic chemicals and other pollutant such as lead mercury and cadmium into the soil groundwater and atmosphere to the detriment of the environment Do you know how we see e-waste affecting our environment? When e-waste is exposed to the heat, toxic chemicals are released into the air, damaging the atmosphere. This is one of the biggest environmental impact of e-waste. Those toxic material can then seep into the groundwater, affecting both land and the sea animals. Electronic waste can also contribute to air pollution. Can you tell me how does e-waste affect water? E-waste contaminates surface water when rain water dissolves toxic chemicals such as heavy metal compounds of barium, lead and mercury that rushes down to ponds, rivers and lakes. Using e-waste for landfills may seem like a practical disposal approach but it also leads to underground water pollution. Do you know what toxins are in e-waste? The electronic waste affects nearly every system in the human body because the material that make up e-waste contain a plethora of toxic component including mercury, lead, cadmium, polybrominated flame retardant, barium and lithium. Even the plastic casings of electronic product contain polyvinyl chloride. Let's see environmental effects of e-waste bioleaching. If we dispose of our electronic waste improperly, all of those nasty components are leaching into the environment. It's infesting soil and water, thus contaminating wildlife, livestock and crops. These toxins are then being passed around the food chain. Do you know what is a good way to dispose of e-waste? We can follow five ways to safely dispose electronic waste. The first way, give back to your electronic companies and drop off points. The second way, visit civic institutions. Third way, donating your outdated technology. And fourth way, sell off your outdated technology. Fifth way, give your electronic waste to a certified e-waste recycler. Let's see, how is e-waste disposal in India? E-waste recycler use processes such as open incineration and acid leaching. This situation could be improved by creating awareness and improving the infrastructure of recycling units along with their prevalent policies. The majority of the e-waste collected in India is managed by an unorganized sector. Let's see what are e-waste management rules. The phase-wise collection targets for e-waste in weight uh, shall be 10% of the quantity of waste generation as indicated in the EPR plan during 2017-18 with a 10% increase every year until 2023. After 23 onwards, the target has been made 70% of the quantity of waste generation as indicated in the EPR plan. Now we can see how much electronic waste is in landfills. E-waste represents 2% of American trash in landfills, but it equals 70% of overall toxic waste. 20 to 50 million metric tons of e-waste are disposed worldwide every year. Cell phones and other electronic items contain high amount of precious metals like gold or silver. Bank of India in e-waste India generates about 3 million tons of e-waste annually and ranks third among e-waste producing countries. 
after China and the United States. Reports state that it might rise to 5 million tons by 2021. Details of 90% of this waste are undocumented. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, India has 312 registered e-waste recycler with a capacity to handle 7,82,080.62 tons of e-waste every year. Let's see e-waste legislation in India. Under the Environmental Protection Act 1986, the e-waste rules 2011 were enacted and become effective from 1st May 2012. Thereafter, the e-waste rules 2016 were enacted in supersession of the 2011 rules and came into effect from 1st October 2016. How can we prevent e-waste? We should be a good consumer, reuse as often as possible, educate yourself on what gets put into your electronics. Look for an environmentally friendly label. Consider limiting the number of electronics you own. Teach kids about e-waste. Understand security issues. Thank you for watching this useful video.